But I've been so tired. I know I missed my video last week and I'm sorry. I've been very stressed with work. They put me out on a night shift and it's a bunch of older ladies. Whew. And what they say about nurses eating their young, it's true. I couldn't stay on that shift. It was terrible. I, like, it got to the point I didn't even want to eat. I didn't even want to come to work. I almost called out. But yeah, that's another story time. But I'm going to do a what I... It's, I want to do a better day in my life type of video, but you know, you can't bring your phone into prison. But I am going to get me a PRN job, like a PRN at a hospital or a nursing home. Let me even not even lie, I'm not going to a nursing home. Or like a home health so I can keep my skills up. I don't have any skills. So not keep my skills up to increase my skills. So yeah. Yeah, Um, someone asked me how the interview process goes with correctional nursing. Um, to be a correct, be in corrections, period, um, you always have to do a background check. They do a background check and um, references. They call your references. So, yeah. And that's it. It wasn't a bad process. It took like two weeks to get the background check and then the interview and everything. But it wasn't bad. Let me see. Start. It's a lot of paperwork that you got to fill out, first of all, because you're dealing with the states. Um, I don't know how it is the Fed level. I might do Fed eventually. But it's a lot of paperwork. And then once that's done, you got the interview. And then once you get hired, then you got the background check. So it'll take about two, three weeks. I know some people said it took them a month. But Alabama pretty fast because they need folks. So it didn't take me that long. But it really took long because they was waiting for me to pass the NCLEX. And then after that, I told them I still need a, long, a week after the NCLEX to relax. Because, girl, the NCLEX was stressing me out but i can give you a look so that was that on um, the interview that actually stuff like what would you do you had an emergency like this girl i don't know <laughs> but yeah um everyone's pretty cool like the evening shifts my the director of nursing oh she is wonderful she comes on she helps out she works you don't see that not my nursing manager at the hospital of the pct <laughs> you think you're gonna get her on the floor but yeah, no, she she comes on the floor, she came in, she comes in, she works, she don't care what time it is. If you're short, she's coming in. I think that's really wonderful. The management is wonderful. Everyone's been wonderful. But I can just tell you what I've been doing lately. I've been doing the infirmary the past couple of weeks. Now usually an RN supposed to do it, but we don't have an RN on even ship. So I've been doing the infirmary for the past two weeks. So imagine my shock when I get there yesterday and everybody in the infirmary tested positive for COVID. I can't go into depth, you know, I don't want to violate HIPAA, but, woo, almost a lot of, I think about 40 plus patients tested positive, but I'm fully vaccinated, so I'm good. Um, you know, I still don't know anything about the vaccine. We don't know what strain this is. We don't know, you know, if the vaccine covers every strain. I mean, uh, there was another nurse, she tested positive, so... I don't know. I think I want to go get tested just in case I'm asymptomatic. I, I mean, even if I wear my mask, I don't want to go to work and possibly spread that to others, you know. So I am going to go get that test. But yeah, let's see what else. Um, but it's been pretty easy. The pill call. The pill call was different now. Um, the, we have a dorm that's positive and they have to actually take their pills to them. So when I do peel calls, will probably be tomorrow. Yeah, but it was a lot. I, things have changed. Like um, I did the blood sugars and stuff, and they had to actually go take their blood sugar, their um, their insulin to them, and then their uh, the machine to take their blood sugars and stuff. And I'm, I had a little basket. I don't know how to make that better. Maybe I took a little plastic bag so they can put their sharps in. But yeah, um, it was only four of them, but it's a lot because you're trying to put everything in this little basket, take it to them, still do safety precautions. Um, what I'm trying to keep their um, their lancet. I don't know. Well, I guess you could, can't open the lancet and get the needles. I was like, baby, give me that bag. <laughs> but yeah, so it's not bad. It's just different. And you, it's something different every day. You always learn something new, and I like it. All my um, so folks be like, corrections is scary. Oh, uh, often inmates give you problems. It's not really usually it's your coworkers. The inmates don't really bother medical. I mean, they're gonna get mad. They're gonna go off when you tell them no. But they really be trying to beat up the officers. But yeah, um, I work at a women's prison too, so they say women's prison is a lot different than men's prison. Women can get away with a lot of stuff and stuff. The officers can't put their hands on them. 
um, my mom, she's a correction officer. She told me things in the men's prison has been changing too because these officers have been getting, you know, fired and arrested for putting their hands on the inmates. But I'm sorry. Everybody's gonna be trying to whoop me up and I'm not, you know, defend myself. So yeah, I was gonna talk about the mad pass. I'm sorry this video was boring. I'm just like talking, like I'm gonna sit down. The mad pass. There's over a thousand inmates there. And some of them got 13 plus medications, so yeah, it's a lot. But they, this prison splits it up side by side. One side gets A through L, and the other side gets no A, A through K, and the other. Anyways, my side is usually L through W, L through Z, and it takes about two, three hours depending on the shift. I've worked, you know, I've done it at 4 a.m. one time too, and that was pretty simple. It took an hour, so that wasn't much. But mostly everything's been good. It's just I've been having a little problem with um, this one coworker. Like she's been talking about me really bad, and you know, you work with a bunch of women anyways. But don't nobody want to come to work every day. I always have to be defensive. I always have to take up for herself because no other shift was like that. I mean, even if shift has been wonderful. Everybody minds their business. Like on night shift, like, Ugh. I don't even care. If she see this. Who cares? But yeah. So that's it. I got moved off that shift ASAP. I don't tolerate stuff like that. I don't believe that being in a job you're unhappy at or being in a job that's stressing you out or you got coworkers that's like, you know, making your job experience, you know, uh, enjoyable. But everything's been going good now. Everything's been solved. Everything's been fixed. I'm back on evenings, four days instead of five. I'm in school. I'm in school. Yeah. I got about two classes right now that I'm doing. And it's stressful enough, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Starting May, when I do three classes at the same time, but we'll see. God got me. I was gonna move out, but then I started thinking about. I was. I was looking at apartments, but I started thinking about, you know, bills and stuff. And what I'm gonna do when school start back, like real heavy, when I get them three classes, and then when I start, cause I'm doing prerequisites right now. These, whew, and what I'm gonna do when um the actual nursing program starts so yeah but i want to get into travel nursing so i can actually pay for my nursing program i don't want to take it alone i don't believe in loans i don't want to be 50 trying to pay stuff off but hopefully if i do take it alone in the future they do something for health care workers and you know just erase their loans but yeah that's it um there's other stuff you want to know i know i had a lot of suggestions so i, I did talk about the interview process and i talked about med pass but yeah but this is going up today, but yeah, all right.